Hi, so today I'm going to be talking about the Battle of Culloden, so yeah, let's, let's get started. So this battle specifically was the last one to use, it was last of a pitch battle for in Britain, on British soil, actually, and it happened on the 16th of April, 1746, 18th century, just overlooking Inverness in Scotland. So, well, the two sides were um, this Hanoverian army with the king, uh, the time King George II, led by his son, the Duke of Cumberland, and uh, Charles Edward Stuart, who was also known as the Young Pretender, who was also known as Bonnie Prince Charles. And well, that was the like the sides, and well, in the year before there had been a bunch of Jacobite rebellions, and these had also happened under George the First. But this battle really put an end to it, especially due to the seventeen forty five Jacobite rebellions. So I mentioned the Jacobite rebellions, but what exactly are these? So this is in in seventeen fourteen the House of Hanover took over. Um, with it, uh, when Queen Anne died, King George I took the throne, and he was in the House of Hanover. However, there had been a, a king, not right before Anne, but two, two before, so it was Anne, and before William and Mary, and before that um, comes James II. Him, like, he is the, the founder of the Jacobite movement, I guess. So, the Jacobite movement really stems from the Stuart line being ended and the Hanoverian line taking over. And, well, they wanted to dethrone the Hanoverian line and put Bonnie Prince Charles on the throne. Well, they had tried to gain popularity uh, and support in England, but failed. I mean, in London, really failed. And the Jacobites had slowly been forced out of England and into Scotland. Not into Scotland, they were already there, but you know, the Jacobites didn't have the whole England to themselves. They had to fight there and they lost the fight, and that's how they reached. You know, that's how the fight ended up reaching Scotland. So, uh, Bonnie Prince Charles, he was under constant pressure from the king. I mean, the king was not about to let this guy, who generally had a claim to the throne, just roam around. So he took around 6,000 men, a bit to the north. And then at one point, they had established a base, and they established this base in Inverness. Now, Charles' advisors, they had said, hey, we're Highlanders, why don't we, you know, choose a why don't we just choose guerrilla fighting? We don't have terrorism to train. We're not better than the British. Let's just like keep it, you know. Charles just ignored this and he said, We are not gonna take a more defensive action. So we're going to confront our enemy at this place called the Dramosi Moor, which is where the Battle of Culloden took took place. So the ground was also really marshy and it was rough and it would favor the larger armies of the British one. However, when he controls, he knew this perfectly well. However, he just ignored it. And so rain kept on pouring and while well, the government army struck and well, they were, and they headed straight to Culloden to take their positions and the battle started. So in the first, you know, half hour of the battle, Cumberland, so the king, not king, yeah, the king, so his army, he, he just, his artillery destroyed the Jacobites. He had round shots and grape shots and, well, Charles, when he was Charles from the Scottish side, 
she said, okay, enough, enough. Instead of taking this defensive position, I'm just going to, you know, attack the enemy. Which is what he did. And yeah, the ground buggy bit didn't really stop him. Highlanders just kept on going towards the enemy and fighting hand to hand. And, well, the, the red coats, they also fought fiercely, but in the end, um, in the end, um, the Highlanders had to flee. And in less than an hour, the whole battle was over. And yeah, so Jacobites, the fields of the Hadman actually managed to escape, they just left the country or were handed down or were killed. And yeah, Bonnie Prince Charles he managed to escape to France. And yeah, so I mean, this battle really, a lot of Highlanders were killed. So, key facts. In terms of yeah, in terms of numbers, the British had eight thousand people. The the Highlanders had six thousand. In terms of casualties, the British had three hundred. The Jacobites had around two thousand casualties. So yeah, I mean the battle itself wasn't a huge deal compared to all the battles like compared to Ashton Court or whatever. It's nowhere near as that, but still really interesting. And it's just Highlanders versus what are gonna say is it's still interesting stuff. And yeah, I mean that really don't have anything else to say. It's just like it's a battle the Highlanders had lost because Prince Charles the Bonnie Prince Charles, he just wanted he didn't follow it, the advice of the general. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Like it's really a short video, so yeah. Um, thank you for watching and yeah, I hope you liked it. Bye.